Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example asks us to find a specific point, a specific radius between the inside and the outside radius of the cylinder. Yes, this indeed is a cylinder. Like this. And so we're looking for the point where the temperature is halfway between the inside temperature and the outside temperature. Kind of the average temperature between TA and TB. So uh, how do we do that? Well, we start with the general equation. Well, not really the general equation, but the equation for a hollow cylinder, where the heat transfer between the inside and the outside of the cylinder can be described by this equation, which we derived in the previous video. What we're going to do is write the equation slightly differently. We're going to write this as simply the difference in the temperature. So we're going to write this as Q dot is equal to 2 pi KL divided by the natural log of B over A times the delta T. So now we realize that the Q dot is actually a constant value. All these numbers here, K, L, B, A, and delta T, all those are constants. And so therefore Q dot is a constant, which means that the Q dot, the heat transferred from the inside to the, to the point where the temperature is halfway between temperature A and temperature B, that Q dot is the same here as it is here. So what we can say is that the Q dot traveling from A to C must equal to the Q dot traveling from C to B because the Q dot is a constant. So now let's write the expressions for the Q dot going from A to C and the Q dot going from C to B using our equation right here. So the left side is going to be 2 pi KL, that's the same, divided by the natural log of the larger radius divided by the smaller radius. So in this case, it's going to be C over A, because C is larger than A, times the delta T. Now the delta T is going to be the half the delta T, because going from here to here should be half the, the change in the temperature, and going from here to here should be the other half the change in the temperature. So we write this as delta T divided by 2. And that must equal the, the right side, which also is 2 pi KL divided by the natural log of the outside radius B divided by the radius to C. And again, times delta T divided by 2. So we know that that must be the same. Now when we look at both sides of that equation, we see a lot of similarities. We see that 2 pi KL is the same as 2 pi KL. Delta T over 2 is the same as delta T over 2. So essentially this equation reduces to 1 over the natural log of C over A is equal to the 1 over the natural log of B over C. And then cross multiplying, we could then say that the natural log of B over C is equal to the natural log of C over A. And of course, if the natural log of two quantities are equal to each other, then those quantities must equal to each other. So in other words, we can then conclude that B over C is equal to C over A. And then using cross multiplication, we can say that A times B is equal to C squared, or C is equal to the square root of A times B. And that is what we're looking for. If we know the values for A and B, then all we have to do is multiply them, take the square root, and that is equal to the value C, which gives us the exact distance from the inside of the cylinder to the point where the temperature is exactly halfway between the inside and the outside temperature. And that is how it's done.